so it looks more beefed up, uh, definitely the 63. <laughs> Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at the MG Performance Center. Very Slava Lama, special thanks for having us here today. And we are here with the new 2024 Mercedes AMG GLE 63S and this is the SUV version. So in this video we will check out the exterior, interior, we will listen to the sound of this car and also we will check out the practicality. Alright guys, so let's start with the exterior here. So we have here this very nice grey paint which is called the selenite grey metallic so this is very popular choice and also uh, people buy this paint quite often so uh, I'm really happy that I can show you a car which is uh, really popular uh, in this um, particular configuration in this spec so here for the facelift we have some changes with the 63S but from the exterior they are not as huge as from the interior so from the exterior mainly we have the new tail lamps so you can see it here so we have these small four stripes or bars or dots and then one eyebrow on top and also we have here the new badge so a Falterbach AMG badge and you can see the design this has AMG specific grill. This particular car has a night package, but it doesn't have a night package 2 or extended night package. Otherwise, the grill would be in dark chrome. Right now we have it in chrome, but uh, I quite like this actually, this combination, because uh, it's more prominent right now. You can see the specific grill AMG in night package 2. So it's fully black. In dark chrome, it's very darkened. Uh, with the night package too, right now it's more visible, so it's more out there. I don't know which one uh, would you prefer. I think it really depends depends on the car. Uh, on this huge car, I think it can be easily in the dark because you can definitely recognize easily that these two are uh, something special. With this car, if you want to stand out, a uh, little bit easier to be recognized for an AMG then uh, I think it's better to have a chrome in terms of the grill but uh, yeah you can do whatever I think you cannot go wrong uh, it's just a matter of uh, personal opinion so the 63 has also a much wider front bumper so 53 has maybe like this 63 has much larger one so it looks more beefed up uh, definitely the 63 from the front and from the side you can see that this is uh, more beefed up but you have to be like an not expert but you, you have to know where to look for this so um, your regular uh, consumer the, will not know uh, I think difference between the 53 and 63 only like the AMG specialists AMG fans here are some additional cooling which you don't have on the 53 so radiator grills openings and this A-wing design as well for the 63 so in my opinion it looks uh, different to the 53 but uh, yeah I can recognize these cars pretty fast but uh, from, from first glance you may not know which is 53 and which is uh, 63 so yeah that's the difference also here underneath the Mercedes badge, this one is a flat, you can see like a hologram. The star is a hologram, so you cannot touch it. That means that behind we have a radar for the assistance systems. And also it works with conjunction with the cameras here in the windshield uh, as well. Underneath the windshield. So the GLE looks very good in my opinion. The very traditional C-pillar is easily recognizable in this color if you have a black car then you don't see it as fast I would say this C pillar so uh, these wheels also very traditional design these cross spoke wheels and uh, look how cool look these ceramic brakes really shiny like a mirror almost mirror finish mirror also ventilated drilled check it out almost like a mirror really crazy and these bronze calipers look really stunning these are actually Michelin 285, 40, 22 inch so the compound is Pilot Sport 4S, very sticky tires also here are these boards on the side 
aluminum with uh, rubber dots. And here we can see the V8 by Turbo Formatic Plus badge on the front fender. This can be in dark chrome as well if you get the extended night package or the night package too. And check out here, you can see the windshield is like a little bit blue, so it can help you with the, the UV rays uh, like a protection. Also, here is a hands up display and the window trim in gloss black here together with the mirrors as well. But uh, the door handles are still in chrome on the top. So from the factory this is not possible to black out, only like an aftermarket um, solution. So in terms of the rear, here we have the tires, which are of course wider, 325, 325, 35, 22 inch. And check out here the selenite paint, absolutely stunning in my opinion sort of like a little bit blue a little bit gray really really stunning starts a little bit uh, raining so hopefully we can finish here so from the back also we have here the tail lamps which are darkened so the whole tail lamp is actually more dark and the stripe is uh, bright so before we had definitely the surrounding was more uh, bright red right now it's darkened which i think it looks very very cool because usually you know people uh, wrap this with the, the um, black foil with the black wrap PPF so they can have darkened look this is from the factory and the exhausts are also um, darkened with the night package they come in this dark chrome otherwise they will be uh, aluminium design and here is also AMG logo embossed there four fins for the diffuser and in this case we don't have the badges this one is debashed so you can order like that from the factory. This one is more like a sleeper look. Honestly, I like both of these, but if I would have um, AMGs for, I don't know, like many, many years, maybe I would go for this look, but uh, since uh, for the first few years, I would go with the badges because uh, it's a nice tribute uh, for sure. So uh, yeah, with the badges, it looks definitely uh, much better in my opinion. So this one is sleeper look, which I also like. But I would go for the badges. You can also uh, stick them if you buy the car which doesn't have them. You can stick them on. Here is a chrome line which connects the lamps and also Mercedes in the middle here. So uh, we will check out the boot as well. And here is also this line in black which goes above the exhaust. This can be also in uh, aluminium if you don't have the night package. So uh, yeah, on the roof you can get the roof box. You can see that as well here and uh, yeah in my opinion this looks very good this color mm, i think it in, in bright sunlight it looks even better but uh, here in overcast still very sick so really really nice so here underneath the fuel cover you can actually get this fuel cover uh, in nicer design so you can change it as well aftermarket here so make sure you do that as well and um, here you can see the 280 kilometers per hour 174 miles per hour is the top speed uh, this is limited and you should use the best petrol which you can find on the gas station so right now we will open the hood and we will check out the engine the heart of this uh, most powerful SUV in the lineup so we can open it here And let's check out what is underneath the hood. So here we can see the heart of this uh, SUV. So this one is the V8 with twin scroll turbochargers, handcrafted in a Falterbach, the home of AMG. You can see here the person which handcrafted this particular engine. You can see the signature of a person there. And this one is also 4.0 liter uh, V8. The power is 612 horsepower, 815 newton meters, an acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour is only 3.9 seconds. And uh, as we saw, top speed 280 kilometers per hour limited and uh, 174, I believe, miles per hour. So, very dynamic car. You can also get the 53 as a base AMG option you can also get a 53 plug-in hybrid called 53 hybrid that's the new model you can see here the signature carl benz 
on the windshield as well and on the top you have some sound deadening and around the engine you have a heat shield as well so very very stunning the front one is here the front here is uh, from carbon fiber check it out so uh, more lightweight as well on the front so you need to let it go and it will close check it out so no need to slam this on some cars you need to like a little bit slam but here it's uh, enough to just let it go and here is the key fob to the vehicle black energy key fob with the energy logo you can also change what is here in the back but here we don't have this feature you can have here the Affolterbach badge as well you can change this easily uh, to your key fob so yeah let's listen to the sound So here is how the front looks from the back, let you know how to like this. I think it looks uh, very familiar with these updates, even better in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And we just started as an emotion start. Alright guys, so here is the facelifted interior. We have the new AMG Performance steering wheel and also new infotainment system NTG7. In this case we have the AMG style black Nappa leather and let's open the panoramic sunroof check it out this is your very nice daily spec I would say maybe I would uh, do also matte PPF on the outside so we have a selenite magno and this black interior and this one is really sporty in terms of the specs you can also get the beige interior but um, yeah I would probably uh, decide between these um, two but uh, I also like the beige one uh, I have to I have to say a beige one looks uh, more luxurious this one looks looks um, more sporty definitely so here we have the Napa leather on the inside is diamond stitching with uh, ventilation and here you can see microfiber and also the AMG beige there also here we have the carbon fiber trim in gloss memory seats heated seats three levels and also ventilated seats you can control the right seat Wormaster speaker here for a surround sound system and AMG pedals with the rubber dots and these are aluminium and these very nice AMG control units so with this one you control the driving mode we can start with the slippery mode then we have the individual one and then we have the comfort mode then sport mode and then we have the sport plus and also the race mode the car is now lowering uh, in the race mode and with this left toggle you can actually change if you press on the display the setting and then if you press on this small toggle you can change the setting of that the level of that setting uh, on the display so you can change the suspension comfort sport sport plus exhaust you can change as well transmission for example auto start stop you can lower the car or uh, you can increase the ride height AMG Dynamics as well, you can change it as well you can see how it's changing on the middle screen as well so then we have also the Sport Mode Sport Plus and also we have the Race Mode so with the Race Mode you can see also the car is lowering with the green icon in Race Mode you have everything as uh, sporty as possible in Sport Plus you can see the drivetrain changes from dynamic to sport so this is the change with the Sport Plus and also the race mode you can also do an individual so in the individual mode you can actually change what you can see here so for example we can do and put the engine in the race mode the suspension will be in Comfort or Sport Sport Plus and the engine dynamics could be in master if you turn on the ESP or if you get the ESP in sport yeah then you can have the master you can see ESP sport handling otherwise you can have it only in pro with the traction control the ESP 
on. Then you can also turn on the exhaust, for example, and make the transmission manual. Here is also toggle for the... If you hold the button, it will turn it off. Okay, so now it's completely off. You can see it here as well, ESP off. And if you press, then it's back on. Then we have also here the off-road modes, so you can see the trail mode. Now it will race everything as much as possible. We have also sand mode, uh, you can see it here, and the traction control can be basic, uh, traction and slide as well. So here is, for example, the sand mode. Sand mode actually is rising the RPMs, so we can change the screen also to classic one and we can see the RPMs there. If we select the trail, it's going low, the RPMs. And then you can also change if you hold. You can change the dynamics to slide. Yes, suspension trail or sand. So yeah, pretty cool. Also the exhaust goes automatically on in the sand mode. So it's always on in the sand mode. Very interesting to uh, check out this. And yeah, now the car is going uh, once again back low. Here with the capacitive buttons you can change the distance with vehicle in front, for example, if you are driving on the Distronic. And then you can see you can change the speed. Here in the middle we have the new NTG7 latest MVUX system and with AMG integration you can see here the performance so here we have the vehicle you can see how the suspension is working and also the front the steering angle also the tilt angle you can see it here and what kind of level uh, do we have here if we go into the let's go into sport plus or race mode so right now we should go to minus one, we already are at minus one. And if we go back to the comfort, then we should be back at zero. And if we go to the trail mode, right now we should go to plus one. And you can see it's already highlighted in blue. So we are going to plus one with the suspension. Then we have the settings for the engine. You can see torque and the power. Also the turbocharger pressure in the KPA. A little bit if I add a little bit of the throttle, you can see how it's working on the display in real time. It shows you the data. Also here is the temperature for the transmission oil. And here for the engine oil is already almost fully warmed up. If it's cold, then it's in blue. If it's in white, that it means that it's already warmed up. And if it's in red, I think that uh, it's a problem, it's overheated. Then in IWC, you can see here we have the watch, the clock. If I press here, this works as a stopwatch. You can stop, then you can reset as well. And then we have the consumption information. Seven and a half minutes, 30, 90 and the past three hours. Also, what I noticed, you can swipe from the down and you will see here the radio, probably also if you have uh, music, you will see the track as well. The same works if you press here on, the, on these arrows, then you can change if you swipe uh, as well. So if I swipe like this, you can see I can change the radio stations and also the music if I would have a tracks there. Here is a panel. For the AC, very nice and clicky buttons. I really like this. Really amazing. These physical buttons are so satisfying to, to click. So yeah, now the AC started to work more. Hazard lights here. Here in the middle we have this nice compartment. So underneath, this is in like a piano black, gloss black. 
underneath wire charger for a phone, two USB-C ports, 12 volt socket as well, and uh, adjustable cup holders, which you can uh, cool down and also heat up the drinks. Then we have here the touchpad. With dynamic button you do basically the same what you, what you do here. Also if I press, you can see here the trail menu and also the sand, very nice icon. How cool is this? And here we have a button for 360 cameras. Here we have the park assistant. You can use that as well. Then we have a front, front wide angle. Then rear, you can turn off the AC, it's too loud right now for filming. Uh, rear wide angle, then you can see the view from the side, from uh, the different side, and automatic mode, and also the rear for the tra trailer. Uh, so you can see the rear camera for the trailer. If you press here, uh, the camera po activation position is saved. That means that if you arrive here next time, the cameras will open automatically. How cool is this? You don't need to press the button. So yeah, very helpful as well. Then you have a car functions, head-up display, car wash mode, downhill speed regulation. So these kind of like a shortcuts. Then if you press on the star, you have here the favorites. And you can also add favorite as well. Then we have a volume, also very nice and clicky button. Then navigation and map. So if you press, you can see here that as well. Can I? No, I cannot, but I can switch. So I can, so you can switch here uh, from the stations or tracks. Then we have radio media. You can have favorites as well. Then telephone, phone one or phone two. And here we have uh, this resting piece. So you rest your palm and you can control then the infotainment uh, as well. And then we have a large button to lower the vehicle. Three memory positions. You can lock the car unlock and um, yeah really beautiful other ambient lighting let's check this so ambient lighting and this is in comfort we have also massage check it out so many massages absolutely stunning then we have the seat seat kinetics so many settings for the seats and the brightness is on maximum and uh, in terms of the colors, we can have monochrome, 64 colors. So one is probably most visible right now. You can see also here the strap is sort of like a saddle, this ambient lighting, unlike on other uh, models. Then we have the multicolor. So with this one, we have the ocean blue, the, all of these colors. Also for the AMG, we have the racing yellow and racing orange. You can see a little bit here. So very subtle also there in the food well. Here is one more time the close-up of the seats. Really nice perforated seats with diamond stitching. All black, so very cool and um, yeah, very stylish, the black. Also on the top we have the microfiber. So uh, this microcut material on the headliner. You can also open the roof, check it out. On the ventilation like this, you can have a little bit of the fresh air. And if you want to open it fully, you need to press this. And now it opens. So the glass is also a little bit tinted. Panoramic glass, and this is how much space do you have here. Check it out. Really cool. The sunroof is huge. The whole roof is a sunroof. You can close it like this works really fast the car feels very roomy as well you can turn off the AC now so yeah let me know what you think about the front section of this interior here for the driver you can change for example you can have the track pace g-force speed accelerator and brake pedal. Then we have the Super Sport. You can change also what is on the middle, for example. Then we have the Sport one. You can really change here anything. You have just temperatures here. And then Classic one. So you can change also what is in the middle. 
and understate it. You can change the colors here. Then we have the full screen navigation. You can also zoom in and out. Then we have the assistance. You will see how the car is driving and the car in front, the distance, etc. Here is the off-road mode. You will see here the angle, steering angle and tilt angle where we are heading. And then you can see here in service, tire pressures, a warning memory, assist plus, engine oil level and temperatures as well. So yeah, my favorite is probably Classic and also the Super Sport. Also when you are shifting you can see the yellow light there. And gears. So it looks like this if I select first gear. If I put the car in drive. Should be here, the first gear. Yes, it's here. And if I have manual shifting then you can see you have a pre-selected gear. If you are in, for example, second, the first will be on the left, second in the middle, and third on the right. You can also see here the M1. So right now we are in a mode, which is an automatic transmission, but I pressed the shifters, the pedal shifters. So um, this will go away after a while if you don't shift yourself. But you can do permanent manual mode if you press this button, then you have M in yellow. So if you don't have M in yellow, that means that we have only like um, manual mode for a while. So if you don't shift it goes back into the automatic. So something to keep in mind. And yeah, here in the middle is armrest. Underneath we have the storage space of course and the USB-C port. It's pretty wide for two arms, no big deal with this. And on the top we have the cosmetic mirror with light. And also this one is a two section, so you can have like this and also like this. And for example you can also leave this one and you can put this back so you can have a smaller one. This actually could be in many more cars. I really like this. This double sun visor. And the same goes for the passenger as well. So in the glove compartment, here we have some storage space, also perfume diffuser. And uh, the storage space is uh, pretty large, I would say. And here is a look at the interior with panoramic sunroof. Really gorgeous interior. Maybe I would add the Affolterbach crest here, but otherwise it's really gorgeous and looks more modern with the facelift updates uh, for me definitely. Soft close for the doors and here once again soft close. So here is a back of the vehicle and let's close the door. Soft clothes for the doors as well, and look how much leg room do I have here. Really massive, so uh, I can also tuck my feet underneath the seat here. Or I guess so here for the headroom, let's check it out. I have plenty of headroom, so barely I can touch here. Absolutely a massive amount of the headroom. I'm 186, 87 centimeters. That's six feet and uh, two inches, I would say. So I'll let you know what I think. Overall, I feel really roomy here. And uh, for my left arm, I can very nicely have it here rested. And uh, overall experience to, to be here in this uh, rear section is very roomy, very airy. Especially thanks to the panoramic sunroof. The panoramic sunroof makes a huge difference in the perception of the interior of the car, that's for sure. So here in the back we have actually two zone AC as well, so it's like four zone air conditioning. Also two USB-C ports down there and storage space 
check it out. Quite deep actually. Very interesting. So here is the armrest with two cup holders. These are adjustable and also isofix for child seat. You need to remove these like this. And also here, and you can store it somewhere in the car. And then you can hear you can have here the connections for the isofix. And be lighting in the doors, Burmeister speaker and heated seats, three levels as well. Here you have a vent, one hook here for the jacket, second one is here as well. Here is the light and the grab handle microphone. So if you call to someone, they can hear. Also, if you say hi Mercedes, we have a place for a large bottle here in the door pocket. Windows are privacy, check it out. So they are tinted. And yeah, there is also airbag. Very good in terms of the rear section. Also, here is this net. A little bit old school, but I think it's practical if you put something here. I think it's uh, practical actually. Also, here, uh, very good because um, it's plastic. And if, if kids will kick here with their uh, small feet, uh, you, you can wipe this easily. It's not like uh, expensive material, nothing like that. So, uh, if this would be in leather, it would be like. Uh, yeah, uh, not as ideal as here with this plastic. Also, here are the vents. You can control them, open and close, and uh, change the direction. Also, this section is in leather. Really high quality in the back for sure. You press here. You can kick underneath the bumper. You can see here my backpack and my tripod, and some accessories. Here is the AMG private lounge envelope and uh, some other accessories this one is the perfume it's called the 63 this one and also you get the microfiber cloth for cleaning the touch display and uh, this is like a first aid kit wheel locks for uh, light alloy wheels we have the fuse box underneath this section check it out so here is the fuse box and you can put it back like this and lock into place. You can also lower the car if you want to put something heavy. Now it works, so check it out. The rear will go down with the air suspension and then you can put something heavy in the car. I think this can be helpful. So here is also a 12 volt socket, check it out. A hook here. We have also speaker there and light on the top. This roller cover, you can close this like this so nobody can see what is in the boot through the window. And here underneath we can find some tire kit, but I think it looks like it could have a small spare tire, so that is a good yeah, that is a good sign. So yeah, this one is a 630 liters, that's 22.25 cubic feet. Also here we have the button for the tow hook, check it out. This one is fully automatic. And you can also close here with the touch of a button. So let's check it out. Or I guess that's it for this video. Let me know how do you like the new GLE 63S SV, the new facelift in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe for plenty more videos coming to the channel. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.